is Kathleen from the blog OloFarmhouse.com and we're back with our Gustavian Swedish style table. So I have covered the whole thing in one coat of Annie Sloan Chalk Pink Duck Egg Blue. And now I'm going to go back over and dry brush in some highlights. <clears throat> So I like to put my paint on a plate when I'm brushing on the highlights or if I wanna mix colors. I'm going to brush on some highlights of Paris Gray into this duck egg blue. Um, and I'm gonna do that for a couple reasons. One is one coat, here Lars, come over here and I'll show you. One coat doesn't fully, fully cover. You can still, there's brush marks still where you could touch up. And instead of going over that again with another coat of duck egg blue, I'm going to take this opportunity and, and touch up or brush on highlights in Paris Gray to give it some more interest. Um, but I also have a little duck egg blue on my plate and obviously my brush is full of duck egg blue paint. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna blend them together on the plate and then kind of touch up my piece and I am just doing this um, I'm just by instinct and just kind of what I want as far as where I would imagine I want it to be a little shadowy or have a little highlight and I learned this technique from this wonderful blogger who sadly doesn't blog anymore Leslie Stalker um, she still keeps her blog up though I believe and she taught me this instead of, Annie Sloan recommends painting in two colors and then sanding back so that you see um, the base color underneath the top coat and then maybe some of the wood if you like as well. But the sanding is is very time consuming and then of course you end up wasting you know, your paint and then you sand the paint off and it's kind of frustrating, especially because your paint's kind of expensive. Um, and Leslie Stocker, she, her method is just to dry brush on highlights and just avoid sanding altogether. And I love that because it saves me time, it saves me money. And I, I do think the effect is pretty much the same. I, having done both, I, I really think the effect is the same. So I just wanted, I wanna kind of highlight these rosettes because they're interesting. And maybe back here I missed some spots or the, the brown is poking through, so I'm just gonna stipple with my brush. <laughs> get some gray in there. And I'm just gonna go around the whole piece with my plate and just use it as a palette and get some green in with the gray. So it, I don't want it to be, you know, really blaringly obvious. Hey, hey, here's a highlight, but just, you know, just a little bit of subtle variation and change. And that's what I'm gonna do around the whole piece. You can stop.